week. And so, Stephen A., the question for Laker fans is this. What is the ceiling of this team this year? My direct answer will be a trip to the Western Conference semifinals. I think that they can win a first-round series. I think anything beyond that is asking a bit too much. Asking a bit too much, even with Memphis struggles, for them to eclipse Memphis. Definitely asking a bit too much for them to eclipse Denver. And most certainly too much to ask them and expect them to eclipse the Phoenix Suns, who are probably going to the NBA Finals. And so when I look at it from that perspective, you're the 13th seed in the West. You're only four and a half games out of a top six seed. Could you beat a Sacramento, potentially a Dallas, or somebody? Yes, you can. And I look at the Los Angeles Lakers as getting out of the first round, being in the Western Conference semifinals, and then after that, you can expect them to go home. Overall, I agree with Stephen A., but here's the problem. They're in 13th place right now. So how high is the climb? And I think they made themselves significantly better with those pre-deadline moves, Greeny. But how high can they climb? And what does their first-round matchup look like? Right? Suppose they're playing the Phoenix Suns in the first round, Stephen A. Not going to happen. Right. So, I see that happen. I, well, you, so my, my point is, you think they're going to rise high enough to avoid a situation Correct. like that in the first round? That's right. I don't know that. And even if they finish second and they got to play Denver or Phoenix in a second seat, the tough thing about the Lakers is we keep waiting. Well, how long are we going to wait? These are the nights where they have to go and steal a game, even without LeBron James, even on the road, even against a team with the same sense of urgency they've got or ought to have. Otherwise, we're not going to see the Lakers have that chance. I believe what you were the picture you're painting. But, man, they got to get moving and quickly. We're only talking about, we're talking about less than 30 games remaining in the regular season. This question reminds me of a famous Michael Jordan quote. I want to ask you guys, did you guys understand it? When he said, the ceiling is the, the roof. The ceiling is the roof. <laughs> Did you guys understand that? No, I asked him several times what the hell he was talking about. <laughs> okay, so I'm still waiting for an answer. Okay, thank you. All right. I, I think for these Lakers, I kind of agree with you, Wilbon. There's a chance not only are they going to be a part of the play-in, there's a chance that the Lakers won't make the playoffs. What? Yes, Stephen there's a, a chance. Oh, y'all need Th to stop There's it. a chance based on the teams that are in the play-in. For you know. example, if they were playing against the Pelicans who were healthy in the play-in, that's a tough matchup. But overarching, I think if they get in, their ceiling is to possibly win a first-round match. Here's the reality, Stephen A. Right now, they are four and a half games out of right. vaulting above the play-in. Right. But there are six teams between them so and what? that spot. So but what, is, what is the matter with you people? Let me explain something. If you look at the Los Angeles Lakers, do you remember what we thought about them coming into the season? We said, wait a minute, Anthony Davis, when is he going to get hurt? Because we know it's inevitable. And by the way, they don't, they don't surround LeBron with any shooters. Okay, so what do the Lakers do? They're 25 and 30. There's six games under 500, and at least five of those games came down. They could have uh, a call here or there. They could have won it. And this was with a team that was highly questionable. They've improved themselves while they've been in the mix. Nobody in the West has pulled away from them. So my mentality is if you allow them to live and breathe, albeit on a resuscitator at this particular moment in time, why not think they could get past the play in? Teams in the West have pulled away from yeah, them. Yeah, they have been. They're 13th right <laughs> now. No, not with, the, not with four or five teams within four games. Six Six you know what you keep doing? You are waiting on them to do something that they are so far incapable of proving they can do. Y'all just admitted they improved their team. They improved the they team. Have. It doesn't mean they improved their, their, their place and their place in the standings. They haven't done it. If, then you didn't improve your team if your standing ain't gonna change. Listen, did you watch them play on Tuesday night? Because everyone did because LeBron broke the record. They looked awful. awful. Parenthetically, they lost that game did. against Oklahoma City did. at home. These are important games. And no LeBron today at Golden State. They are likely to lose to today's L. game so, as L. well. I get you there. You got me there. You got me <laughs> <laughs> He's not playing today's game. That is not a good thing. All yeah. I'm saying is I saw them get another shooting guard in a point guard that is D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, Malik did. Beasley is we no agree they improved. All I'm saying is, there's there. only two teams in the West they're better than. Okay. Houston and San Antonio. And what I'm saying to That's you it. is that what I'm saying to you is when we got four or five teams that allowed this team to be within four games. I'm looking at the fact that they vastly improved. And the fact that they vastly they improved, improved, I got to look at that and say they could catch those four to five teams. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.